Hey guys, uh, I am Shubham De. I am a student of Unit 2 batch of Masai School. So I will be giving you an idea of how the sliding window algorithm is working. So I think the best way to explain this algorithm would be a question. It was really, really a, one of the, I would say the most beautiful question I have ever solved till now. So this is the two sum question. So what we need to do is, for example, there is an input. There, there are, for example, there are three test cases and we have the array length and the target value, right? Then if, for example, there is a given array and we have to add the, uh, add the elements of the array and if we're anyway getting the target value, then it should show the index of that, those elements basically. So for example, is it is zero and one, right? So zeroth element is, it is two and the one element, it is seven, right? And we are getting the target value. So seven plus two, is it nine? So yeah, we are getting the, getting the target value. And then similarly, in the second test case, I can see three and four, right? So what is the third element? Is it five? What is the fourth element? Is it five? Yeah, is it five? It is five. So five plus five, is it 10? Yeah, it is 10. So basically there will be a given input and we have to find the indexes of the elements by adding, which by adding we get the target element. I think the question is pretty much clear to you, I guess. You can actually, I mean, you can pause the video and read the question, but I can say that, uh, yeah, you can read the question, read the question if you want. You, you can pause this. So we can approach to the code. So you know the input taking part is, uh, it's not a big deal, but the thing is algorithm, how it is what. So basically I have, I have, I have declared a false flag. I have declared a flag for, I mean, first of all, and what I am doing is reiterating. I should, uh, I think, uh, I think I should take this array here. And then I should, yeah. So, so what I'm, this is my given array, right? Two, seven, eleven, and fifteen. So what I'm doing is, I'm, I'm, I'm giving a for loop, declaring a for loop, which will start from zeroth element and up to length minus one. So what it is doing, this this for loop is working from my two to eleven. What is my length minus one? This is my fifteen. Yeah, and I should go until. I mean, just below the length minus one value. So is it two to eleven? Yeah, is it? It is two to eleven, right? And this second for loop, but uh, it is it is working for my seven to fifteen, seven to fifteen. So basically, what I am doing, I am creating a window, two windows basically, which will. This will go from 11th. This will go from two to 11th and the second will go from seven to 50. So what am I supposed to do? What am I thinking of doing is I should compare two plus seven, right? And then what I will do two plus 11, two plus 15 basically. So, yeah. So here you can see the J value is giving a I have written I plus one. So if it's my zeroth element, it will start from I plus one. So for, uh, so first, it will start from the first element. It will go up to length, up to my length, length value. So uh, after that, if I'm, if I'm getting the, by the addition, if I'm getting the target value, I will simply, uh, I will simply get that, get those elements into the bag. And in my bag, what I will do, is is add my indexes value what is my index value in in this case is it zero yes it is zero and what is my j j value it will be i think uh, what is my j value Wait, let me see the out yeah it is one right so in this case if this situation is um, true then it will come under come in okay. it will come inside this okay, wait a second Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah. So if my if if this 
condition is true if it finds the target then it will make the make uh, the flag true and it will just console my bag what is my bag is it the i n j jth value it is the empty string right so i can i have to print the i i th index and the jth index basically so and then i am returning this web value and and i am just breaking it so what i am why am i breaking is i don't need to go further right if i am getting the target then i don't have to go after that i mean so yeah i'm i'm just breaking the loop so what it will do is it will come outside this this for loop but do i need to go outside this for loop or this for loop both for loop right so then I, then i'm then i am doing the flag like equal to true and then again break because what this this line number 39 will do is that it will come outside this for loop the line number 20th for loop so it will simply just break out and it will console my bag if it gets the target and if my for flag remains false basically what it what my line number 42 is giving i mean telling is that if if i can't find i mean find the target then i have just uh, i just have to simply console the minus 1 and minus 1 that is given in the in the question you can see the question yeah print minus 1 minus 1 if not found right so i hope you got some idea regarding this and this is the input taking part in this uh, this whole so you can ignore this so i hope you got this idea basically what i am doing is i'm just creating i'm just creating windows isn't it i am creating a window of 2 then 7 and then 2 11 2 15 right and similarly i'm creating a window from 7 11 7 15 so that's why it, this, this algorithm is uh, basically uh, doing this thing getting the windows checking the target if it matches to the target or not and giving me the indexes so in this case there is no if you add this we will not get a, we will not be getting 100 right so we have to print the minus 1 minus 1 so yeah i think uh, yeah i can explain the input taking part as well but the thing is it is it is just taking my input it is the test cases basically tc is the test cases that is given in the in my case it is three right so i have to run this uh, run this loop for three times basically so so this is uh, array restructuring as you know uh, this is giving the taking my length and target and i'm mapping it to number because it is string right everything in the in the in the oj is uh, like if i type the number it will be a string right it will be in a form of string so i don't need a string i can't perform something in the string right so i am mapping this into a number and then line plus plus everything and and here i am actually invoking the invoking invoking the i mean function this is to some array and then i am writing the function here and i am doing the coding i hope you got some idea uh, regarding this uh yeah thank you thanks a lot